Hi Gandhi class, I hope you all had a really lovely weekend. Welcome to your first talk for writing lesson this week and our learning objective for this lesson is can I write out the text map? So today we're going to write out the text map, but before we do, let's practice saying our text map again with the actions. Day 46. This has been a most extraordinary day. Mr Sherlock Holmes himself couldn't have done better. The master's brother, Major Kirby Trot, has asked us to use a certain room as his study while he's here, not wanting to do his correspondence and such like in the family library. Apparently, he dictates his letters to Mahesh rather than writes them himself. Dictates means that he says what he wants to say in his letters and Mahesh writes them for him. Like I does with Plump for this diary. Never knew I was dictating. Turns out Mahesh can write better English than what most of us downstairs can. Except, of course, Mr Pritchard and in the most beautiful writing too. The only writing I've ever done is with chalk and slate or in pencil on a scrap piece of paper and once with a dip pen. But Mahesh uses something called a fountain pen. It doesn't spurt like a fountain though I bet I'd get blotches and splodges and the like all over me and the paper if I tried. But the ink flows regular from it and, in Mahesh's hand, the end result is beautiful. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was ordered to assist Mahesh in preparing the room as a study. I was told to gather any papers I found with writing on them and put them aside for the master and to provide plenty of paper with the Lytton House letterhead as well as make sure that the inkwells were full and the like. I wasn't sure why me. I mean, yes, the room is on the ground floor where all the rooms, what are my responsibility, are found. But why couldn't Mahesh do it? Not that I minded. I like a change. I heard poor old Jack use a word the other day when he were asked what it was like being on unpaid light duties, what with his broken leg. He told them it was monotonous. And when I asked Cook what he meant, she told me it means doing the same boring stuff day in, day out. Which just about describes me life. Okay, so now you're going to watch me write part of the text map and I really want you to watch out for any mistakes that I may make. Now when you're writing out your own text map, I want you to make sure that you've got another coloured pencil or pen, so like a purple polishing pen, to correct any mistakes that you may make. So let me share my book with you now. Okay, here is my book. So it starts off with day 46 because all recounts start with um, a day or a date. So there we go. Uh, right here, day 46. And then I'm gonna leave a line on the next line right next to the, uh, the red line, the red margin here, I'm going to write this has been a most 
Now, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember seeing in the book, but when she wrote the word extraordinary, she um, wrote it in all capital letters um, on its own separate lines. So I'm going to do the same as well. So this has been a most extraordinary day. Full stop. Mr. Sherlock Holmes himself couldn't have done better. Okay, now I'm going to go through that with my purple polishing pen to check for any mistakes. I wonder if you saw them. So the first mistake that we made was I didn't do a capital letter for Mr. Capital M, start of a new sentence, and it's Mr. A capital S for Sherlock and a capital H for Holmes because that's a name. Mr. Sherlock Holmes himself couldn't. I forgot my apostrophe for couldn't because that apostrophe shows that I have shortened um, two words and put them together. So it's really could not, but the apostrophe shows um, that it's now, it is could not. Done is spelt wrong as well. So I do a neat line through done and above it, write it correctly, better. And then I need my full stop at the end there. So well done if you spotted all those mistakes as well. Okay, so the next bit is the master's brother, Major Kirby Trot has asked us to use a certain room um, as his study while he's here um, not wanting to do correspondence and such like in the family library. Okay, let's go through with the purple portion pen and see if we can correct any mistakes that were made. So the master's brother, at ah, here, it is the master's brother, so we need an apostrophe. The master's brother, Major Kirby, needs a capital K because it's a name. Major Kirby Trot, oh, we also need commas, has asked us to use a certain room as his study, which is spelt wrong, as his study. Well, he is here, which is why we need the apostrophe to show it's a contraction of he is, uh, not wanting to do correspondence and such like in the family library, full stop. Okay, next bit. So after that bit, it is about him dictating letters. So apparently, um, he dictates his letters to Mahesh. Um, rather than writes them hmm, 
himself. Okay. Apparently he dictates his letters to Mahesh rather than writes them himself. I wonder if we made any mistakes here. Let's have a look. That looks fine. That looks fine. Oh, Mahesh needs a capital M because it is a name rather than writes them himself. So we need a full stop here. Let's do another sentence together. So now we're explaining what dictates me. Uh, dictates. Um, means that he says what he wants to say in his letters and Mahesh writes them for him like I does with plump for this diary. Okay, let's go through and check to see if I've got everything I need. So, dictates means that he says, oh, that's not spelled right, that needs to be an S like that, says what, oh, that's spelled wrong as well, he wants to say in his letters, and Mahesh needs a capital M because it's the name, writes them for him, like I needs to be a capital I because it's a proper noun like I does with plump for this diary. Okay, great. Let's do the next bit. So the next bit starts with a bracket. Never knew I was dictating. Mm, then turns out Mahesh can write better English than most of us downstairs, uh, like most of us downstairs can, except, of course, Mr. Pritchard and in the most beautiful writing two. Okay, let's go through and check this one now. Um, never knew I was dictating. Oh, I again needs to be a capital and there needs to be an exclamation mark there. Turns out Mahesh, again, needs a capital. Can write better English, that needs to be a capital, than most of us downstairs can, except, of course, capital M, capital P for Mr Pritchard, and in the most beautiful writing, too. Okay, so that's what a uh, part of our the first part of our text map written out. You can see where I've corrected myself. I really want you to read back through your work just to make sure that you have written it correctly. So I would recommend doing this after every sentence you've written. So as you can see, I did day 46. This has been the most extraordinary day. I read back through that. Mr. Sherlock Holmes himself couldn't have done better. And when I got to that full stop, I read back through and I corrected it. And I've done that all the way through where I've read this, written the sentence, 
read it back through and then corrected. And I'd like for you to do that as well, to make sure that you really are remembering those capital letters, uh, finger spaces, punctuation where needed, and to check your spelling. If you are unsure as to how to spell a word, and there is an adult around who can help you, then please do ask them to help you spell it as well. Okay, let's go back to the notebook. Right, so your task. I want you to write out the text map, making sure that you've got capital letters and punctuation in the correct places. Now, I know that this is a long text map, so please, please, please don't spend any more than 30 minutes writing it out. If it's not finished in 30 minutes, then don't worry. I'm more interested in the quality of your writing rather than the quantity. So I want to make sure that you are writing sentences perfectly with your finger spaces, with your, cap with your capital letters, with your punctuation in the correct places, with your you know spelling correctly, rather than writing it all out um, and it not being done to a good standard um, like I know that you all can do. So, you know, take your time, make sure that you're writing it perfectly. If you only write as much as I've just written, then that's absolutely fine. Please don't worry about not finishing the whole thing. And as I said, only give yourself 30 minutes to do this task. Please make sure you upload your work to Tapestry Gandhi class and I will see you next time. Bye.